Hey you guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. We're on kind of a peculiar little adventure right now. I had heard that there are tilapia around my neck of the woods to go fish. And you know, that's weird because I live in Idaho and I had no idea that I could find tilapia around where I live. I've had tilapia at the store before. They were delicious. Terribly curious what they taste like when I catch them wild. Now I've also heard that they taste like garbage. We will see. So let's go see if we can catch some tilapia. watching them they're not after the corn they're trying to get my bobber okay that's not working you think they want peanut butter banana <laughs> oh my gosh if peanut butter banana cliff bars catch me a tilapia this is gonna be awesome okay there you go there is the peanut butter banana cliff bar Tilapia rig. <laughs> All right, they love the cliff bar. Big fans of the cliff bar. Oh, I got one. Oh, I had one on the cliff bar. You know what? I'm going to try it with just a bear hook. I bet you I could get one on a bear hook. Less in the way. Look at that. Bear hook. First tilapia ever on a bear hook. And it's definitely not a keeper. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ouch, poke the spine up my butt. You know, I read online before I came that they're related to the cichlid family, and it does, it looks just like a cichlid, just like an aquarium fish. It's crazy, I even, down here lower, I saw a blue one, like a blue aquarium fish. No joke. All right, I gotta get to a different spot. Oh man. Look how close those are to my boots. See, I, I, this is where the ticket is. This is where I'm gonna catch some of those tilapia. There we go, got him. Bear hooked him again. Another little guy. Tilapia. Okay, they're pokey. Folks, if you come for tilapia, they are pokey. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, I have, it's like, oh my gosh, what kind of snails are these? Holy cow, they're like indestructible. These are probably invasive. Not surprising. Oh, and I left my multi-tool. So what I want to do here, oh, that's a pretty one. What I want to do, is I want to crack it open and use the snail as bait. Ah. 
What do you think, you guys? This will probably do it. Oh, no! I worked so hard for you. Dang it. There we go. Ooh, that's a pretty one with the red belly. Uh, that's the biggest one so far. Still not very big. Almost looking like a blue, oh, just beautiful. Oh no. All right, my little snail still, still hanging on there. Oh yeah, there's a bigger one. Yeah, eater. Oh, it's a <laughs> it's a freaking bass. I'm at, after tilapia, I get a freaking smallmouth. That was so much fun. It's just something about catching a different species, like that's always fun. But to be able to catch tilapia in Idaho, that's unbelievably fun. I didn't catch any big ones. Obviously you saw I, the only two big ones I thought I got were a uh, smallmouth bass and a carp. But uh, so cool seeing the, the beautiful coloring of these tilapia. I saw some bright blue ones. You know, they're part of the cichlid family, so, well, you know, they're aquarium fish. And so I'm real excited to come back out here and give it another shot and see if I can't bring some keepers home to actually uh, try to eat this time. So no catch and cook today, but ton of fun today. So thanks for joining me, you guys. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we'll talk to you later. See ya.